How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirn. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right, let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lorido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor, Lorido's bodyguards quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor, the lion's den. Here Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Lorido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lorido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. Get a move on, Garrett. Yeah. My people will await you where we agreed. Vernon's waiting inside.
woman. Artist at work. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work for the two. Too early. Return after dark. Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> You. Ah, we're playing hide and seek now. Wait till I find you, little sparrow.
You're this new girl's friend? Where is she? The commander took her to the tower. Hurry! How did you know? She's obviously not one of us. The hooker always knows the hooker. So I guess something was going to happen. Before they took her, she whispered, Window in the extension. And when that bastard went to take a pee, I noticed you climbing over the wall. How do I get to Laredo? When he's having it off, he lets no one in. But his mother has keys. You must really love her taking such risks. Right. Where's the mother? In the basement, distilling fist tech. Thanks. Now go. Climb over the wall and run. If a tall man dressed in blue stops you, tell him everything. Tell him his plan was ingeniously simple. Thank you. If you manage to enter the tower, kill the bastard Witcher. He should die slowly and painfully for all he did to us. you? What do you want? The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl? Your efforts are in vain. Like an Ithleen's prophecy. The seed has been planted and will soon sprout. Shut up and give me the key. The key? The key? Uh, where did I put it?
stay away. You're dressed like a whore, behave like one. First I'll plow you, and then I'll slice off your tits. Does that strike your fancy? Cut off your own whore, son! Oh, I love it when bitches bark. No time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Leave me here. Please! You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I will not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. So, what month is it? Lammas. What must be gone? snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized I was pregnant, I wanted to kill myself. Don't say that. I am N. Shay. I think I... Damn. Her water broke. Geralt, change of plans. But... Back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help! Warning! Intruder in the tower!
Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. by a dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorven, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The Horson ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of Jorveth. What's with Laredo, and where's Vess? Laredo's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy okay. boy! Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorito kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. <clears throat> Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? <laughs> Don't touch me! I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltest's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. 
There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henseld of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him, Foltest, had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. In a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mold? <sighs> Scoff all you want. I speak of magic! The kind of spells that win wars. Thousands incinerated in seconds! <laughs> power, destruction, annihilation! Yes, after which Sabrina Cleversig was burned at the stake. And the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But sire, the Edernian barons won't dare stand against you. You shall see that shortly. I've prepared everything. Greetings, Your Grace. Hail to Henselt. Can you feel that? Magic still beats strongly in this place. Shivers run down my spine. Mm. Strange. Levasig's quadruple sun is a short duration spell. It should have dissipated long ago. An anomaly, perhaps. Not uncommon. The sheer amount of power she summoned. I doubt she retained complete control. Sire. Stop discussing, Stop Sabrina Klebasig, or I promise you that heads will roll. Forever he The other nobles are panic stricken at the very thought of Saski with her peasant and non human rebels. They are unprepared to fight and know it very well. And Demovin's cob? Has he named his price? Prince Stennis has yet to respond, but Felat has assured me. I must see him. Look into his eyes. I'll know what he's made of then. We most humbly greet His Majesty Henselt, King of Kedwin, heir to the dynasty of the Unicorn, Lord of Ard Kareg, Archduke of Banard, and Vanquisher of Nilfgaard. Welcome to Edern. How much do you want? Your Majesty surely jests. I couldn't be more serious. How much for your signatures? A hundred thousand Novigrad crowns, we thought, to each of us, and the titles of Marquis. Oh, We speak of Upper Eden, of coal and silver mines, numerous factories, the sole white marble quarry this side of the Yuruga, and the North's main east-west trade route. We speak of Lormark. I advise you to adopt the new nomenclature. 
In exchange, we shall swear fealty and acknowledge your majesty as sovereign of these lands. You'll receive 50,000 apiece and no additional titles. Also, you'll provide guides and supplies to my army. My men will install themselves in your castles. Your armed men will gather under Sorcerer Deathbolt's command and will set out to quell the Peasant Rebellion. Sire, the common folk will hate. They simply won't understand. Yes, Ferret, they will hate you, but at least this way you'll live. Comfortably, I might add. Refuse and die by my hand or that of Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Sire, we accept your conditions. Deathmold, the scroll. Sire, there is yet the matter of Prince Stennis and his rights to these lands. So long as he lives, <clears throat> so long as the Prince lives, he'll force his claims. Then kill him, Philot. <laughs> Sire, I'm no warrior. In that case, shut up and sign. Sire, the Dragon Slayer approaches, white flag in hand. Excellent. Let her pass. What are you waiting for? Pick up those quills and sign. Just out of curiosity, what does Upper Eden sell for these days? Fifty thousand. How much would you have demanded, lass? King. Command your vulture to shut his beak before I thrust his cockerel up his arse and twist so hard he'll crow until noon reverts to morning. I... Sire, you must have her restrained. Shut up, Deathmold. I've rather taken a liking to this Saskier. Say your peace, woman. King. Withdraw your army, recognize Upper Eden's sovereignty and your persecution of non-humans and give them leave to quit your realm. Do this and save yourself and your army. <laughs> you have balls, woman, but what would I gain? My soldiers would call me a coward. I am Hensel de Vard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even if she be a dragon slayer. I see one other solution. You and I, King, here and now, before these folk and the gods, I challenge you. As in the old days, when the Honourable ruled this world, Upper Eden, to the victor! The lass has gone mad to challenge a king! Sire, this is absurd. We shall crush them in battle. They say the lass has slain a dragon, she could be dangerous. I find you fetching, girl, and I want you alive. I want you and this country. You'll need to take Vergen first. Oh no, you, then Vergen, then the whole of Edom. Grab her! <laughs> in the name of Kreeb, Freyr, and Militele!
Hey, halt! What's with you, Zivik? Booze made you batty. Don't you recognize me? I'll be ploughed and damned. Why the hell did you bring him here, Roach? He's a witcher. I know who the horseman is. Ploughing Kingslayer at the gate of a king's camp? Why, he's not even bound. Easy, lads. The witcher's no murderer, I'll vouch for that. As for kings, well, I desperately need to see yours. You're in for a wait then, Mr. Special Mission Knight. Don't move, mutant! One of you go get the sergeant, and while you're at it, fetch a solid piece of rope to bind the freak. Come on, Zivik, no need for that. Where'd you say the king was? Out in the field somewhere, negotiating. Hey, Kingslayer, drop your weapons, or do I need to pack a bolt up your ass? Don't move! Don't even twitch, mutant! Hands where I can see him! Shoot! Smash the freak! What the fuck? Soldiers! It's Sabrina's cops! Edelians are here as well. Admire the sights later. <laughs>
Prince Dennis. He lives. She's out to kill me! Stay close to me, sire. It's not far Deathmold, Sheila, meet me in my tent. You're to explain what the hell happened there, and how we're to get rid of it. As you command, Your Majesty. I'll tolerate no delays on this matter, and summon all my company commanders. Immediately, Your Majesty. Corporal, I'd like you to watch the Witcher closely. He just pulled me from a magic hell, so I doubt he wants my head as he took fall tests. But I'll not have him wandering round the camp like some stray dog. 
occupy him for a time, then bring him to my tent. Sire, I must request an audience. Later. I'll see my mages first, then the Witcher. Ah, just lovely. And here I'd hope for a calm little war. Nowhere I might wet my throat around here. Roach, willing to vouch for this overgrown urchin? He did not kill Foltest or Demavend, if that's what you're asking. You've got my assurance on that. Good enough for me. Let's go then! Let's go! Our armorer. Busy as ever with military commissions, but he'll take a private commission from time to time. Here at last. The canteen, the most important place in the camp. If you ever get bored, you should find a monster contract or two on the notice board. Something's brewing. Now, we don't have all day! Say, the enemy have fed you their propaganda. Ah! But what if she's truly an anointed bear? Let's go! Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Here's where the King organizes tournaments. All glamour, ceremony, noses and cocks in the air. Between those, we kill time thrashing about with swords, pikes, chairs, the works. Good stuff. No holds barred. They pay well too if you know who to talk to and who to bet on. Excuse me a moment, Witcher. How did the fight go? Give a nose for the Civic. You won again. My gold? You gonna bet on more fights today? Of course. I'll come by later. See him, Witcher. Loosen his bonds a bit and he's liable to jump at your throat like a rabid mutt. One of you are with Square Tail. How did you capture him? Scouts found him wounded in the ravines. Someone massacred a small unit. The boy said it was a bloodbath, as if the Reaper just swung his scythe right through them. Whoever attacked them was very strong. Any idea who it might have been? No. But if they managed to ambush elves in the wild, I'd rather not meet them. Right, Civic. Let's go see the king. How's it going, lads? I can't feel me plowing feet from all this standing around. Any chance you'll be sending up some replacements? In an hour. Open up the gate. The king wants to see the Witcher. Ah, uh, yeah. Go straight to the royal tent. You can't miss it. I've a few things to take care of. Godspeed, Zivik. I'll be near the main gate if you need me. So long. Ha! A Witcher! The king must have summoned him to fight the wraiths. You think? I'm certain. Ha! Let's see him deal with...